Hey everybody, Eddie Heinzelman here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today is a special day. Tonight we are performing at the Grand Ole Opry at the historic Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee. And so I thought I would try to take you along this evening as best I can um, and show you a little bit about what it's like to play the Grand Ole Opry. The first thing is when you go to the Opry at the Ryman Auditorium the entrance is through the alley, the historic alley, that all of the stars, Hank Sr., Willie Nelson, Harlan Howard, Marty Robbins, all of them would go across the alley into Tootsie's to have a beer in between their sets or before their show or after or whatever. And so, uh, so you still enter through that same entrance, that same artist entrance. Once you're in there, you go to one of the dressing rooms, I'll show you the dressing rooms this evening. And then um, the trick is when you go on to play, you only have about 60 seconds, really, to set up because the other artist is going to finish their song and the MC is going to read a commercial and you have the extent of that commercial to be set up and ready to go. So for tonight, I'm taking a really small pedal board. Uh, we're going to get to do two songs. Sometimes you get to do three. So less is definitely more in this type of scenario. What I've put together is my small Nano Plus board. I'll show you to you right here. It is powered by a Volto rechargeable battery. So again, I don't have to worry about plugging anything in while I'm on stage. Tuner. Tumnus for a little clean boost. Uh, forest Green Compressor from my friends at Mad Professor. Um, this new triple tweed custom pedal that Sheldon Ends at True North Guitar Pedals made for me. Um, it's two overdrives and an analog delay. And then this thing. The Keeley 30 MS Double Tracker. I, this, I, I don't know what to say about this thing. It's incredible. So... Uh, so that's the board I'm going to use tonight. As for guitars, again, I sort of vary depending on the songs that we're going to play. We're doing two songs off of Radney Foster's new CD, and I used my Zemitis on the album on one of the tracks, um, and so that's probably the guitar I'm going to take. And the other track is acoustic, but I'll play it electric with the band, um, so I don't have to take two guitars tonight. Heading to the Grand Ole Opry. First, sushi. I've shared the stage with heartfelt poets Some next-in-liners who didn't know it And hillbilly prophets who've made no profits at all Okay, y'all, so we're backstage at the Opry, so it's basically in the stairwell. Once you get to check in, they tell you what dressing room you're in. Um, we're in dressing room number seven. Hang on, music row walls The unsung heroes that make us sing along Here's to the ones who write the songs I've sat beside country legends A few of Nashville's secret weapons And dear friends whose words carve notches in my heart I've seen bright lights in my share of rejection been told no too many times to mention Trying to see a song of mine at the top of the chart If I close my eyes on my own back porch Strumming a beat up getting from left up I'm instantly there again Standing on my mama's toes Dance with her before falling asleep To guitars, mandolins, and voices and harmony A handful of years later my father would help me put my fingers on the frets After a while I was allowed to join the circle on that porch with my own guitar Thanks for writing songs. That's, there you go. That's my first stage. My mom and daddy were here the first time I played the Grand Ole Opry, and you know, this goes out to them. Take a little break, talk a little mission, let the cricket sing the intermission. I dream of dogs, dream, and they fire it up again. Put a cedar planks, rattle and moan, rock and roll. Oh, 
I hope you enjoyed that recap of what it was like to be at the Grand Ole Opry. It's so great to see friends like Steve Henson and Jimmy Capps from the Opry Band, Ricky Skaggs, Sharon White, and Buck White. Happy birthday, Buck White. Just turned 87 years old. Wonderful, wonderful man. And Lori Morgan, and Mike Snyder, and John Conley. The list goes on and on. Connie Smith. It was a thrill. It really is an honor and a privilege to get to play the Grand Ole Opry and it's part of the historic tapestry that is country music to stand on the Ryman Auditorium stage. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below, hit the like button, share, and as always, stay tuned.